Hello and welcome to the weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. Today we're going to talk about how to build a model to drive your business, right? And um, as I'm consulting uh, some companies that have been in business for many years, I realized that it is not clear to everybody, even the finance people, how to do it. So let's talk about that. And if you do it from the beginning, you will be in a much better uh, form to succeed in the future. So what a model should be, right? And let's talk about what it should be and why it's important. So first, it should be a clear, logical representation of the company's strategy and capital needs, right? Because then it can help you see whether what you're doing is financially feasible, how much money you need at what point, when are you going to start making money, et cetera, et cetera. What it also gives you, right, and why it's important is it gives you a transparent financial roadmap which can bring all the stakeholders on the same page that helps you to conduct any negotiations when you have your um, conversations with the management team, with investors, with strategic partners, even with employees, right? When you're showing them the vision of your company and you use financial data as support, right? And it also gives you a comprehensive justification of the capital needs in order to achieve your strategic goals for equity or debt investors. Right, so it's extremely important and it's extremely useful for any business, okay? Now, it should also have a good model, right? It should also have a set of trackable, okay? Notice what I put here, trackable. Business drivers represent this company, critical decision points or goals. Now, these are of course assumptions to the model or inputs to the model but they need to be able to be tracked by your financial systems. If you choose an input which you cannot easily track or calculate somehow from other data, it is useless, right? You're going to um, try to make a decision on a point for which you will never be able to get a comparative realistic value for what it is in reality and understand whether or not that assumption was correct, right? And how it affected your business when it wasn't or it wasn't, whatever. So it needs to be trackable, right? And if you do that in this way, right? If you model your critical decision points as trackable business drivers, right? You then can use your model as a business intelligence tool, right? Why? Why can you do it? Because you can now link variances in your financial performance to specific strategic decisions and thus react more effectively to market feedback and whatever else is going on in your business, right? Because you will understand what decision, right, resulted in what output, okay? This is critical. Or which decision is not producing the result that you want or which is producing the result that you want. Of course, you should have a comprehensive set of key performance indicators that will tell you how you measure success, right? And whether or not you're achieving your goals. Okay, why is it important? And this is typically present for all companies, um, is that you can evaluate the effectiveness of your strategy and make proper adjustments, right? But if you only have the indicators, but you don't understand which strategic decisions resulted in uh, those indicators being one way or another, you still don't have the data to make good financial decisions. So it's the one and two that are typically missing, even from models of businesses that have been around for a long time, right? And so an ineffective model will be a hard-coded model, right? Will not be a flexible model. And yes, you may have KPIs that you will calculate based on the data, and you may know what you need to monitor, but if you don't understand what is working, what is not, and why, you will lack intelligence as an executive team to make better business decisions based on market feedback and other business goals. You will not know how to change your strategy, at least from the financial perspective, right? You will only know the output, right? You will only know the result. And if there is three steps that resulted in you getting to this point, you're not gonna know which step didn't work, one, two, or three. If you track business drivers, right? If you do what I'm suggesting to do in number two, you then know, okay, well, the output from number one should be this, the output from number two should be this, and output from number three, the step number three should be that. Oh, let me see, 
what happened. Did it work? Okay. Even if you have um, performances across different business units, right? It could be different drivers for different business units. It's extremely important to think through um, the, uh, I guess, engine of how your company functions and to create this model. Uh, and I almost call it strategic financial modeling because it models your strategy, not just the financial data that are connected based on accounting principles. So here we go. If you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more very useful financial modeling tips every week. And if you'd like to take our free masterclass, build credible financials for your venture. The link is in the description. We're also present on social media. So look at the links in the description, follow us everywhere, and we will be able to help you take your startup to the stars. Thanks so much, and I will see you next week.